Welcome to Sauce Labs, the world's largest continuous testing cloud for web and mobile applications. Sauce Labs helps you succeed in the modern, digital era by giving you the digital confidence that you're always delivering the best possible user experience to your customers. In this video, we'll show you how you can use Autonomic, now a part of Sauce Labs, to quickly create automated tests from natural language that describes your test intent. This is great for non-coders who want to generate tests without coding test scripts and is ideal for administrators of Salesforce, Workday, and other SaaS applications. To show you how this works, we'll generate a test for creating a lead in Salesforce and converting the lead into an opportunity. So we'll log into Salesforce, go to the Leads page, create a new lead, convert the lead to an opportunity, and then create an account. We've compiled a complete list of all the necessary steps in this Excel file. This is our test intent, a plain English description of the test we intend to run. We already have a project set up for testing Salesforce, so we'll import the test intent Excel file, followed by a test data file we also created. Our job as a tester is done the moment we hit submit, because Sauce Labs takes over from there and begins processing the test, starting with laying out the original test intent, then executing each step, and providing evidence of the execution. This screenshot shows that Sauce Labs entered a username as part of the Enter Username step and shows a green border to highlight the information that was entered. The next step we define in our intent was enter password, which was also successfully executed, followed by click on login, and so on, through the list of plain English commands in our test intent spreadsheet. Sauce Labs can also generate synthetic data for tests, which is useful in cases like this one, where we don't want to expose a real person's last name. We used an expression here instead, and filled in the last name text box. And verification is as simple as defining the UI component you want to verify. Sauce Labs will then find the element and highlight it on the execution screen. And within just a few minutes, Sauce Labs has finished processing all the steps from the test intent and has also generated a Java Selenium script, which we can download and import into a Git code repository or reuse in whatever way we choose. Sauce Labs also automatically generates an HTML report which includes complete details of the test setup, along with the test steps, execution status, and screenshots. And Sauce Labs also works with both the Salesforce Classic and the new Salesforce Lightning UIs. This step in our test told Salesforce to switch from the Classic UI to the new Lightning UI. And the associated screen capture shows that the application did exactly that. Another way to generate test intent is to record navigation steps using Test Studio. We'll open a project we created to test a John Deere Store custom web app, then click the Record button to launch Test Studio. Now that Test Studio is recording our actions, we'll navigate through the app, select an item, add it to our cart, and then continue shopping. And when we return to Test Studio, we can see that it captured everything we did and created a test case made up of plain English commands. We'll save the test case, and when we switch back to the project window, we can see that Sauce Labs is already processing the test steps. And once again, within just a few minutes, Sauce Labs will completely process the test, generate and execute a test script, and generate a detailed HTML report. This capability is already integrated into Jenkins, Semaphore, CircleCI, and most of the common DevOps tools in typical DevOps frameworks, along with test management solutions like TestRail and Zephyr. So through the power of AI and machine learning, Sauce Labs is delivering next generation test automation capability to anyone who knows how to express test intent or can navigate through an application to generate intent. One of the most exciting features Autonomic offers is the ability to auto-maintain and self-heal scripts in response to object, XPath, or visual locator changes or the addition of new UI elements. Changes that would typically break scripts and require an automation engineer to manually fix any issues. But Autonomic's self-healing capability autonomously identifies the impact of application changes and heals the object repository with the latest object information, all without any manual intervention. Let's take a look at self-healing in action. We've created a sample application that simulates UI changes, since we can't actually change the Salesforce source code to modify UI elements. The steps for our test are to enter a first name, then enter an email address, and finish up by entering a password. 
we'll make some changes to our application that will affect the corresponding XPaths in our script. We'll modify the password's XPath attribute and add an element called last name between the first name and email elements, which will change the email element's location on the screen. We'll commit and push the updated source code to the repository. And when we refresh our app, we can see that the new deployment now has a last name field. The password attribute has also been changed behind the scenes. As soon as the new deployment was built, Sauce Lab's maintenance feature and AI engine were invoked through our Jenkins plugin, and the script is now being automatically updated to reflect the changes to the locators and XPaths. We'll download the revised script to our IDE, then compare it against the original script to see what automated changes the self-healing feature implemented. Our original script shows the XPath for email contains an index of 2 in a div, and the XPath for password contains type equals password. But the XPath for email in the revised script now contains an index of 3 in a div, and the XPath for password now contains an index of 4, and no longer contains type equals password. Let's take a look at another example that deals with changes to a visual label in our application. Our sample application has two test cases, both of which refer to a label named That's Fine, which we can see here in our app. We'll change the label from That's Fine to First Name, then commit and push the source code to the repository. We'll switch back to our app, and we can see that our new deployment has updated That's Fine to First Name. We'll initiate the build, and the self-healing feature is once again invoked through the Jenkins plugin. Sauce Labs has now identified the impact of the label change across all our affected test cases and displays a message showing where the error occurred. We can drill down into the test case steps and hover over the error indicator and get detailed information about what caused the error. We can begin to heal all the test cases by clicking the Smart Maintenance link and reviewing the Smart Maintenance proposals. We'll approve the proposed changes, and when we return to our test cases, we can see that they're being automatically healed with the correct label. Visit SauceLabs.com today and learn how Sauce Labs can help you deliver the digital confidence that you're always delivering the best possible user experience to your customers.